This is CBS 4 News at 6. Some fresh reminders tonight that the coronavirus positivity rates in Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties from last fall to now, you'll see all three counties hovering over 20%, but this time we may not have a true understanding because so many people are doing at-home testing and that is not shown mm. in those numbers. Now you can thank the new subvariants of Omicron. At 5, CBS 4's Joan Murray told us all about the symptoms and what hospitals are seeing because of this surge, but when it comes to treatment, what options are there and is it time to mask up again? Lots of questions and Joan is live in Fort Lauderdale tonight with that part of the story. Joan? Well, if you're not taking a home test, you got to go to one of these pop-up centers because, as we know now, all the county centers are shut down. So who would believe now, over two years after it began, that we're dealing with another surge? And that's why a local physician is saying tonight, maybe you want to think about getting your masks out of the closet. Vivian Fazio never thought she'd be dealing with COVID this late in the game. The last week, she tested positive after she said she spent time with a friend whose son picked it up at camp. On um, Thursday evening when I uh, woke up, I had a horrible, horrible sore throat. During the night, I felt it, had a horrible night's sleep, and I just knew that something must have uh, must have happened. The two new Omicron subvariants are spreading in South Florida. Dr. Anarud Setia is a pediatrician with Kids Medical Services. So the common symptoms are upper respiratory infection, more so with sore throat, mild cough, uh, a lot of fatigue. Throughout South Florida, COVID hospitalizations are fairly steady. Broward Health reports currently there are 76 patients in June the same. A year ago, for those two months, the number was 1,739. With Memorial Health Care, the current list is 240. In June, there were 196 COVID patients. During the peak in 2021, it was 600. And Jackson Memorial reports currently they have 119 COVID patients. In June, it was 102. During the peak last year, 445. If you're otherwise a healthy individual who's led a healthy life, you will probably write this out, uh, depending on symptoms, of course. But some immune compromised people can still get the infusions, which we were talking about. We are in 2022, about two, two and a half years later. We have a lot more medications. Vivian Fazio is taking an antiviral called Paxlovid. It sort of feels like I take three steps forward and two steps back, but overall I do feel it's helping. So what can we do to protect ourselves? Is if you, whether it's your Uber driver, whether it's your cab, whether it's in the plane, whether it's in a bus, whether it's in a you know small sort of event, I would still recommend wearing masks. And just a quick history lesson, these KN95 masks are said to be the best when it comes to trying to protect yourself against getting the virus. Once again, if you have symptoms, uh, you want to call your doctor if you think you're eligible for these monoclonal antibody treatments, it's important you get in there quickly. Also, for any antiviral medication, it's best you confer with your doctor. In Fort Lauderdale tonight, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.